Hi, yeah, this is a third vid for the first uh, lesson of the uh, functions pack. So it says find the maximum domain. So I need to graph it down. So let's put this on. Um, let's put it on the calculator. So it's x squared. Yep. Get rid of that. So x squared minus 2x minus 8. Have a nice picture. Let's have a look at that. There we go. Uh, so let's have a look. See if we can just change the, some of the axes a little bit. Let's make it minus 5 to 5 on the x. So it seems to be fine for that, isn't it, from the picture? There. So I've got something that's like that. There. Right, so I can tell, but I can tell from the picture that the roots are minus 2 and 4. But just being careful, let's have a look. Minus 2 and 4. Now, once again, you've got to be careful not to put the vertex on the y-axis if it's not there. So my minimum point is 1 across and... I can't see what that is now. What's it going to be? It'll be 1 across and minus 9, I think. So the vertex here is minus 1... Oh, sorry, 1 across. Oops. <laughs> Could be one across and nine down. There. We know it crosses at minus eight. So that's loads of information from the picture that I want. So the maximum domain then. So the maximum domain. So that's going to be all the any x value you want. So x belongs to real numbers, and that's it. There's no asymptotes there. In terms of the maximum range, now I've cheated a little bit because I've got the vertex off my graph. And that's where it starts. The y values start at minus 9. So my y values go on and on forever from minus 9. So f of x belongs to the reals such that oops, f of x is greater than or equal to minus 9. There we go. There. There. Right, so I've cheated here with this one, so I've used my calc. For the minimum point. And for sketching it, to be honest. Right, so it says on this one, so f of x is e to the 2x minus 8x. So I want the maximum range. So I need the minimum point here, don't I? I need the vertex. Right, so let's graph it. Let's cheat and graph it. Uh, just to show you that we can't always rely fully on the calculator. So I've got E, which is shift and ln, 2x minus 8x. There. It gives me something like that, doesn't it? Something like that you've got. So then if I look at the min point, it's going to give me a decimal, which I don't want. I want it in exact form. So I need the vertex, but I want it in exact form. So I can't rely on my writing all over the show. Oh my word, hang on. So can't rely on power. So I've got to use differentiation because I'm looking at a stationary point. So find that bottom bit there. So f dashed of x would be 2 e to the 2x minus 8. It's stationary when it's equal to 0. So 2 e to the 2x minus 8 is 0. Take the 8 over and then divide it by 2. Gives me that. So then 2x is log 4. x is a half log 4. But actually, if I use my log laws, I'll take the half up, it's the square root. I've actually got x is log 2. So that's nice. 
I've got that there as log 2. So that's, that's kind of the x value, log 2. But that's no good because I need the y value. So f of x is e to the 2 lots of log 2 minus 8 lots of log 2. Now that needs to go up there, so I've got e to the log 4 minus 8 log 2. The e and the ln cancel, so I've got 4 minus 8 log 2. I could take the 8 up as a power if I wanted to. Uh, so what I'm saying is now that that stationary point, that bottom of the graph is there. The 4 minus 8 ln 2. So my range starts there. So f of x belongs to the real numbers such that f of x is greater than or equal to 4 minus 8 ln 2. There you go. Let's think of that. That's a bit full on, isn't it? Um, I've got another one to do. How do I do that defining as well? And one last one. That's quite a lot, actually, isn't it? Wow, this is, right, keep going, Dave, keep going. Uh, so we've got example four now, example 4,000. So find the domain of f of x and plus x plus 2 when it's between, uh, so for, oh, right, so you've got the range now, the 3 and 11. Right, then, so how are we doing that? Well, to get a 3 out, you have to put 1 in. If it's x plus 2, so what have we got? So I've got f of x is x plus 2. So starting at 3, uh, I've got 1 for x, and then for 11 being x plus 2. Never seen a question like this. So I'm looking between 1 and 9. It's a straight line graph, isn't it, at x plus 2. So it's like that, but I only want values that go from 1 through to 9. So my, uh, so my domain is x belongs to the reals, but I'm only interested between 1 and 9. What a random question. Don't put that there, point there. There. there we go, and there's one for you. <laughs> uh, so look at that one. There. So if I was doing that, I'd say that 7 is 7 over x minus 1 squared. Switch them. So I've got x minus 1 squared. Is 1 because 7 over 7. So x minus 1 is plus or minus 1. x is 1 plus or minus 1. So x is 0. Or x is 2. There. But I've got to take into account the fact that x minus 1 can be 0. I can have an asymptote. And if I've got an asymptote on the bottom, it's undefined. So you've gone from easy example to one on a whole different level. There. So x is 1. So it doesn't work for x is 1. So I've got my y value, I've got the x values it works for. But then I've got to take into account it doesn't work for minus 1. Right, I'm going to stop there. There is another bit to do. Uh -huh.